Hey guys, going on Tarber here today. We're gonna to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Seneca County. Now this is that same series. These are the f this is the f one field that we leveled, and the one other field is over there. Decided to get some big power because I don't have a whole lot of time, so we had a bunch of money cheated in, and I decided just to do this. And because some of you also wanted some big equipment, now this is some pretty big equipment. And the reason I have the big butt on it is, you know, just just because I wanted to put the big butt on it, and it's got a lot of power for pulling this thing, because this thing requires like 600, 700 horse, and I had the um, what was it? Challenger 1000 Vario, Challenger or the Vario? No, that's the Fent Vario. Anyway, it's sitting over there. It's one of my favorite tractors. It goes 40 mile an hour. This one only goes 19. This this uh, plow is supposed to go 24. So therefore, it's supposed to go quick, right? But anyway, I, I did the border. The border actually took the longest. Um, I just got back from working on the baler. Realized I had to do this. So, kind of have another story to tell on that. So that's good. I'm going to try to tell stories each day. Um, because I know you guys like it better when I tell real life farm stories, things that actually happen. And if you guys want to comment, like stories, you want to write me stories or email me stories, something like that, you know, I'll, I'll tell them like if they're, I can tell stories. I can read stories and all that stuff. So if you guys want to do that, feel free to, I'll try to read them. Um, it'll probably be a couple videos down the road if you do. Okay, so, yeah. I probably won't. I have, what, four videos, three, I don't remember. It's been a rough day. I think I have four videos made, um, ahead of time. Or four vids out before this one goes out. This was recorded the 15th, so whenever it goes out, I think it'll probably go out the 20th or a little longer possibly 21st I don't know. come out sometime in the next week that's about all I know I'm not quite seven days caught up I'd like to be seven days caught up and then I can just record one a day and then if I can't record one a day then I'll skip a day and then try and do two the next day but we do have hay stuff to do so I'll be doing that for the next couple days so I probably won't record and then I think we get a break. We have to spray wheat stubble, but I think Dad will probably do that during the day. Um, yeah. Snapchat for any of you guys who are wondering. Um, I think I deleted it off the thing. Also deleted Instagram. I'm just going to go off social media because it's kind of tricky to do that and YouTube and Snapchat. Talk to you guys. It's just. I'm just too busy to kind of do much on it. I really don't post on Instagram much. If I do, it's just on the farm. Um, I guess you guys could go follow that if you wanted to. But that's up to you. Actually, it might be private. I might have switched it to private already. But I could make a fan um, Instagram or Snapchat. If you guys want me to, I'll probably do that. Maybe I'll create a story deal like what how farms work has welker all them guys actually i don't know if welker has snapchat welker has instagram stories but yeah or how farms work and what's the other guy there's one other guy on there i have one other youtuber on there oh peterson farm bros those guys those guys are good they live south of me a couple hours that's pretty neat. There we go. Alright, so we're going to finish this pass real quick. Um, shouldn't take me too long. And then I will see you guys when we get that done. So yeah, story of the day. Got the baler going. We got the swather tire fixed. Because we took the baler tire off. Because they're about the same. The offsets are different. But they're about the same. Um, so, yeah, we could, we just took that off, just to get it off the highway, because it wasn't, we didn't want it to sit there for 
a full day, maybe even two, maybe even a week. We didn't know how long this takes. Because recently, for service, like tractor service, swather service, any kind of repair stuff, it just takes forever. Like, we usually it takes like a couple days at most, three days maximum, and it's been about three days minimum. Well, week minimum. We had our MX in the shop for over two weeks. I think three, actually. Two and a half. I don't remember what day we took it up there because I didn't take it up there. Someone else did, so. But the swather, I know, was two weeks at least. Two, three weeks. What else did we have in the shop? The combine actually got repaired fast, but we didn't really need it. So it, they kind of took their time. We weren't really rushing them, so they took their time for that. And I think that's it for shop stuff and all that. But yeah, today was wild. We had a lot of stuff happen. This is going to be a rough road. We are going to smooth all this out right here. Before we plow it. Kind of like this plowed field. And we are going to have to lime. So I'll probably get a lime spreader for tomorrow's video. And talk about the farm. Because we'll probably bail tomorrow. Um, I'll probably have a bailing story. Maybe even a welder guy story. Because he should be here tomorrow. I'm hoping. I am really am hoping that he'll be here tomorrow to weld that back together it's gonna be a big project but i bet he'll like it because it's actually kind of easy i could have done it if we had a portable welder um yeah it's really not that hard to do it's just gonna take a little time to do it there we go that's a little better perfect so now we're gonna set this ridge on that point and I think we're just going to plow past that because we're, we're not going to use that barn and stuff like that. Alright, so we're going to make our line here. I'll go ahead and do this. And once we get going, I'll tell you a little bit about the baler. What I did to it, what still needs to be done, and what we don't have. I'm going to drop it about right there. So yeah, the baler needs good maintenance um it's an older baler 565a we have a 7120 that loader tractor is actually pretty good taken care of so basically what i usually do the baler in the beginning of the year to start off the year is i take it and obviously i hook it up usually what i do is i hook the swather up get it ready to go and then i hook the baler on and make sure it's gonna run and then usually I maintain them both about the same times actually and the reason is because if you swath all that and you find out the baler don't work or don't run you're kinda out you kinda don't have anything there for it so it kinda is like well probably should have done that but that's that's one of the reasons um, there's not really too many others and it's I usually look at stuff pretty good like I said usually I look at everything unless the shop says they worked on it and then I just kind of make sure everything's there because sometimes the shop will like not tighten things all the way but I'm not gonna like go through it and tighten everything because then if I run it and something falls apart I can just blame it on them you know and then call them and chew them out We've actually had that happen. We got it back from the shop, ran it a f like not even a full day, like one hour. And the, actually, the dry spreader, the Wilmar 800, I believe. We took it up there in the winter, but then again, it was hot when we did it. So, like, winter, cold, or wait, no. We did it in the winter. No, they put it together in a heated shop, and they brought it out in the cold. So, it kind of, when metal does that, it contracts and stuff. And, whatever so that is kind of the explanation on that that's what we blamed it on we didn't blame it on the shop because you know you can't really do much about that 
and this is not going to be set up right at all, but you know what? We're going to make it work. Offset it a little bit. Just a little bit here. How far should we do it? We should run... Well, first, let's get this set up. Oh, shoot. I just screwed everything up. There we go. Let's go one. Reset. Let's go. Reset. Let's go two. There we go. Drop on the ground. That's close enough. That'll work. That'll be all right. So yeah, I'm kind of scrambling, kind of distracted, um, trying to look at my phone, keep all the notifications that I get during the day, trying to multitask. Boom. But yeah, what I do when I do the Baylor, I know I said like three times. I basically, I used to do it every time, every cutting. Um, I don't anymore. Because usually, most of the time, reset. Oh shoot, it's set over there. Guess that'll be alright. I'll nudge it over. There's going to be some gaps. Kind of screwed that up. Just a wee bit. Oh shoot. That'll be alright. We can plant close. Oh, it's going to jump. Oof. Duh. Oh, the big butt will pull it sideways. Drag it. It'll be alright. We'll plant that. We don't have to hay at all, I guess, either. But it'll swing out here in a bit. So yeah, basically today I greased it, oiled the chains, tightened the chains. I was going to do the pickup teeth, because there's a few missing. Um, it's not really that big of a deal in prairie hay or alfalfa, because alfalfa is actually together. It doesn't really mess with much. I guess you could say. It doesn't really bother much. And the reason why is because it's a long, long grass. So anything long usually feeds pretty good if you're going fast enough. I don't know on this prairie field if it will. Because it's kind of rough. You can't really go too fast. I did realize on the swather that the pin we replaced a couple years ago is broken so that'll be fun um, I'm gonna try and bring it back to the house to do it because I think crossing my fingers hoping that that can be our winter project because I that pin sucked to do in the middle of the field and but really now that I think about it you can't really do much about it in where we're at now but what you can do is move the springs. That's the only downside to that pin. You have to drop all the springs out and then it's pretty easy. Because the header is basically on a suspension deal. So it is hard to um, pull a pin out of a tight, you know, a tensioned area. So you have to detension the springs. Lift the wheel up, I believe. Pull the... What is it? Take the springs out. Pull the springs out. Um, pull the one bar up. But I'm pretty sure it's broke. I don't know why it keeps breaking. But then again, I forgot to grease it again. This year. And that is probably the reason. I don't know when we pull it apart. There might be a lot of grease on it. There might be nothing. That was on me. If there's no grease. But that was the special pin for it and so that could be it hopefully not I'm hoping I can just swath it just I'm just gonna keep an eye on it get out every once in a while make sure that pin ain't sliding out if that pin don't slide out I think we'll be good I'll tell dad about it we'll see what he wants to do if he wants to fix it or just go I'm probably just gonna go as soon as I get that welded up we might hopefully I'm just going to try and get that field done at least, get it home, possibly unhook it. I don't want to. I really want to cut that alfalfa Friday night, bale it Monday, rake the prairie hay Tuesday, or no, 
why did I say rake Tuesday? Oh, probably because I said Monday. Um, rake Perhe on Monday. My brain shot, by the way. Rake Perhe Saturday, bail it Saturday, get it done, move over to the alfalfa, possibly rake Sunday night, let it dry, uh, that day, the next day, bail it the next morning, or have dad bail it in the morning, or me bail it later at night. We will see how that all goes. But this is going to be quite a long video of me not really doing anything, just rambling about random crap. So there you go. That will be that. So we're going to get this done. We're probably going to sell this. Um... Like I said, tomorrow's video will be lime. We'll be spreading lime. We'll probably get the spreader truck. Just because it's the quickest. And, yeah, we got some new mods coming. Downloaded them on my school computer. It is currently 10 o'clock at night. I'm kind of getting tired. So, yeah, the baler still needs oil. I still need to fill it full of oil. It's at the add mark. Might as well keep it full. It's actually green oil. I've never seen green oil. Um, we've never actually filled that baler with oil. It says hydraulic fluid or transmission. No, not trans. I guess yeah, transmission hydraulics are different. Well, not written no. though. Hmm. Maybe we don't. I don't know. Now that I think about it, that's pretty much the same. But I think it said 10:30 or 10 or 20:30. I don't remember. I took a picture of it. I'm going to go get some oil tomorrow. It's green. I've never seen it before, actually. Usually, ours is red. Hydraulic fluid. Or, I guess it's not hydraulic fluid. It's tranny fluid, as we call it. Forgot to get that plowed. But, yeah, it's tranny fluid. As you guys know. Some of you guys may know. Um, we actually get it from Case. We actually buy it bulk in Case. And if you guys are needing like oil systems or uh, things like that, go check out Oil Safe. Oil Safe is actually a great, fantastic facility. I like their jugs. They actually, most people that advertise no spill, they usually spill. These they don't, as long as you shut them. Now, if you don't shut them and they fall over, yeah, they, they will spill everywhere. But they have a little twist lid. You just twist. Then you can dump it and have it air spigot. They're actually really handy. I like them a lot. Plus their bulk systems. You, you can have the gravity. The cheaper gravity flow with the valves. They're kind of slow. I wouldn't really recommend it. But we don't really use that much oil. It would be nice to get car oil. That's what would be nice to get in them just buy a car barrel of it but then it's kind of hard well I guess then we can get the jug and you can just fill it to the quart that would work because it's five quarts and a quart be six quarts yeah so what all our pickups hold suburban holds um I don't know about sister's car I think it's five 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 point five doesn't quite hold six, but that's what my pickup holds and all that. All our pickups do. I probably should change my transmission fluid. It's going to be in the shop for probably a couple days. Um, I'm going to get a lot of stuff done to it. It's been a hard year on it, and winter is going to be harder. And before I know it, winter will be here. So I'm going to try and schedule it for next week sometime. Um, I like scheduling appointments for pickups because you just bring them in. They they work on it whenever. They're usually pretty good about getting stuff there pretty quick. But if I put a whole bunch of stuff on. The only thing I don't like is the cost. Like I can change. I can do some of that stuff. Like brakes. I could probably do brakes myself. But it's like, well then, by the time you buy all the stuff, you don't really put brakes on that much. And, yeah. So... I'll have to have a little chat with them, talk, see. I'm probably going to get brakes done, uh, drive shaft, or whatever they're called. 
U joints, no, right? U joints. I don't think, uh, yeah, U joints went out. Yeah, that's right. Because, well, maybe the front one went out. I checked the back one today, but I forgot about the front. The back one's solid. By the way, pickups, if you didn't know, they have a giant drive shaft. Mm hmm. A big, big giant shaft. Big shaft. Big long shaft. But anyway, this is the one we got, the Challenger. The old Challenger. Me favorite. Might actually keep it. Might hook it on the big hay rake. That's what we're going to be doing. The big, big, big hay rake. Actually, we might get that big spreader. So I don't think that spreader truck spreads very far. But we might get the floater. Because the floater goes pretty fast. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this kind of long, rambly, weird, whacked out video. It is mostly in real life. Most of it is. Some of it's not. You just never know. Um, actually, I think I talked about most real life things today. Anyway, if you did like it, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Helps a lot. I'd like to get to 10K. By probably the end of the month, that would be fantastic. I don't think we can do it. But if we do, I'm going to do a farm tour of the farm all the equipment just so you guys know um yeah so if you do if we do hit 10k by the end of the month i will do a farm tour and all that i gotta go to school tomorrow so i will see you all in the next one maybe tomorrow we'll hope hopefully tomorrow i'll see you guys on the videos hopefully the same viewers and all that. But anyway, see y'all in the next one.